from Dubai. I am joined by Mr. Vijay Valicha, who is uh, joining us from uh, C uh, Financial. Financial. Welcome to the uh, show, Mr. Vijay. Let me start with those expectations by Morgan Stanley and the impact they mentioned regarding reaching the peak inflation and that it will be in favor of bonds rather than uh, equities. Does this mean that uh, we are going to see more declines in equities, but we will see gains in bonds? So we definitely will see a time where there will be divergence between bonds and equities. The entire year both have been going hand in hand together. But overall, we will see that the bond market does recover faster as there is a flight to safety. For that, many factors have to come in, not just inflation, employment being a major factor. If we see the unemployment levels growing by more than 4 to 5% is when the equities start getting divergence from the bonds and we start seeing bonds moving up and equities still continue sliding downwards. Speaking about the types of equities that is going to see least uh, losses, is it value or growth stocks? Will we continue to see the same scenario for this race repeating itself next year? Well, it does look like it is going to be the same scenario extension. The tech stocks, mainly the growth stocks, have seen a lot of beating this year. We have seen value stocks or we could say the more defensive stocks have done reasonably well, even in a year as bad when the S&P is down by 23%. But yes, that is the trend that looks more likely to continue because the value stocks still are looking undervalued and the growth stocks are still quite looking overvalued even as of today's valuations. Speaking about recession is... Uh not about whether we'll enter a recession but rather how it will look like how do you expect this recession to look like in next year well majorly there might be different target areas of the recession next year we have not seen the private equity market getting affected we have not seen the real estate market getting affected the lack of supply of capital in the world will definitely lead to recession in these areas as well so while equities will look further bearish it is also important that private equity sector real estate sector and commodities will actually see a much further decline in 2023 what about dollar moves and gold moves well we saw a major move today when the bank of japan actually shocked everybody uh, such moves are actually expected around the world. We have seen decoupling not just sector-wise or decoupling when we look at asset class-wise. We have actually seen decoupling on a geographical location. Uh, we have seen a much, much lesser decline in areas when it comes to your German uh, index or the France index, but actually much more than the NASDAQ or the S&P 500. We have actually seen India's Nifty 50 actually making new highs this year. And uh, that decoupling is definitely a more worrisome thing. Um, China's index in all indices are almost down 50% from their highs and are recovering at a much faster pace right now. So we do actually expect that geographical decoupling will be the major thing. Vijay, uh, after the Bank of Japan decision today, in your view, will this decision succeed in stopping the drop we've seen in the yen? Absolutely, uh, not just the yen, but overall uh, the US dollar probably has seen the high that it could have seen. And uh, we expect it back down to 93, 94 levels next year. So currencies will definitely rebound against the dollar much faster than the equities will rebound. So that is definitely an expectation that we are holding. Thank you so much, Vijay, for having joined us today. Thank, Thank you. you for having joined us, Vijay Valicha.